Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Cronbach's Alpha in the subject Nursing Research and Statistics. This video will be useful for BSc Nursing students, Post Basic BSc Nursing students and MSc Nursing students. Sometimes you will get this Cronbach's Alpha question in research. Sometimes you will be getting in uh, statistics. So whatever you are getting whether in research or statistics the answer is going to be the same. Before moving on to the topic if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Cronbach's alpha. What is Cronbach's alpha? Cronbach's alpha is one of the measure of reliability. In reliability what it is measuring? It is measuring the internal consistency of the research tool or items which are in the tool research tool or items in a scale. It can be a questionnaire, it can be a survey checklist, a rating scale, whatever it may be. So it indicates the extent to which uh, there is a, uh, that a questionnaire is related to one another the items of the questionnaire is related to one another so in a questionnaire you are going to frame so many questions whether one question is related to other question it indicates whether the um, scale or research tool whether it is unidimensional or multidimensional so Cronbach's alpha it is a measure of reliability which measures the internal consistency it indicates the relationship between uh, uh, questionnaire how one questionnaire is uh, how the items in a questionnaire is related to one another it indicates whether a scale is unidimensional or multidimensional. Next, what is Cronbach's alpha? Cronbach's alpha, as I have told earlier, it measures the internal consistency of reliability. It includes a set of survey items or a questionnaire uh, items. So, where uh, you are going to uh, collect from the uh, uh, research subjects. So, if you are going to get higher alpha levels, uh, uh, then it indicates uh, that the tool is uh, highly consistent or reliable. So, low alpha level indicates less reliability or the tool is unreliability. To predict the alpha scores, it will be ranging from 0 to 1. Higher the values, uh, higher the reliability. Lower the values, uh, the tool is considered to be unreliable or the items in the tool is not related to each other. So, next we will see high Cronbach alpha levels which indicates a high level of consistency whereas low alpha levels which indicates that the tool is unreliable. So that you can modify the tool, you can restructure it, you can reconstruct it and you can um, make it as much as reliable as possible. So lower response, higher response I told, it indicates the tool is highly reliable whereas low response which indicates a low Cronbach alpha level which indicates the tool is unreliable or not reliable. Well, what is Cronbach's alpha used for? So it is used for designing a survey tool or a questionnaire or a research instrument and it also checks whether one item on the tool is related to other item, whether the a tool is constructed in such a way that it uh, measures a yeah, um, characteristic. For example, if you are going to um, assess on complications of diabetes mellitus, all the questions should be related to the complications of di various complications of diabetes mellitus. So, like that, uh, if one thing is uh, related to diabetes mellitus and the other thing is going to be related to some cardiovascular disease, if the other thing is going to be related to some other uh, metabolic uh, disorder or uh, endocrine disorder. Um, or uh, some hypothyroidism or some cancer related thing means it is not going to uh, so each uh, thing is having too much of uh, variability so in such a way it should not be constructed so whatever the questions you are framing everything should be related to a particular topic then only the tool will be highly reliable if at all it is not constructed in such a way then the tool is said to be unreliable so imagine a researcher is going to assess about self-esteem. So self-esteem, all the questions should be framed on self-esteem. Suppose if the individual is going to have high self-esteem, definitely he is going to give higher uh, rating for the questions. So which indicates that he is having a good self-esteem. So for one thing, if he is going to give a 5 as a score, for the remaining items also he will be giving as 5 as a score since all the items are related to high self-esteem. Suppose if the patient is going to have low self-esteem, if the person, not patient, if the person is going to have low self-esteem, again he is going to give a very less scores. Uh, so in such a way, uh, you can uh, assess whether the tool is reliable or not uh, based on the 
items what you have framed or constructed whether it is having internal consistency or not if so if the tool is not said to be internal consistent then you can re-modify the tool or reconstruct the tool so Cronbach's alpha formula alpha is equal to k divided by k minus 1 into sy square minus sigma si square divided by sy square so this is the formula for calculating Cronbach's alpha so how you can interpret the scale reliability it is i already told it varies from uh, uh, 0 to 1 so the higher the alpha values the more reliable the scale the score of 0 0.70 or greater is generally considered as acceptable or highly reliable okay acceptable score is 0 0.70 0 0.90 or 1 which is considered as high reliability 0 0.80 to 0 0.89 good reliability already i told 0 0.70 to 0 0.79 is acceptable reliability 0 0.65 to 0 0.69 marginal reliability lower thresholds that is less than 0 0.65 and all it is uh, the tool is said to be unreliable in this way you have to interpret the scale reliability so the higher the reliability higher the items are interrelated so 0 0.90 or more is very very high reliability whereas 0 0.80 to 0 0.89 is um, good reliability acceptable level is 0 0.70 okay the tool is okay 0 0.70 to 79 but if it is less than uh, 0 0.6 and all no it is low reliability so in this way you have to predict the uh, scale reliability by doing the calculation after uh, collecting the mm, thing so while when you are going for pilot study itself you will be using these all these uh, measures uh, to see check uh, before doing itself you will see whether the tool is highly reliable validity everything already we have posted videos on reliability and validity also you can watch our channel playlist uh, nursing research and statistics for those videos so again 0 indicates no correlation plus 1 indicates perfect correlation 0.7 indicates acceptable level of correlation in alpha measures okay in Cronbach's alpha measures 0 indicates no correlation plus 1 indicates perfect correlation 0 0.7 indicates acceptable level in alpha measure. limitations of Cronbach's alpha it only measures reliability but it doesn't measure validity so higher alpha level may not always tell that the tool is only unidimensional you cannot tell what it is going to measure only one uh, characteristics aspect of the thing sometimes it may be multi-dimensional concept also so so many multi-dimensional factors will also be involved in the construction of the tool but all the factors will be somewhat related to the uh, particular topic or statement of the problem what you have selected so high alpha levels indicates high level of the tool is uh, you cannot say if it is going to have high alpha level always you cannot say that the tool is uh, on unidimensional it may be on multidimensional also hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up like and share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested in the card and i got or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel